Welcome to the Chip and Cern Show, the podcast about everything and nothing at the same time. They were possibly separated at birth, only to be rejoined to create the sweet sounds that will caress your deepest cochlea. The show is real, random, rant-filled, and ruthless. Please be warned that the show may hurt your feelings, offend your grandma, and even kick your dead dog in the balls. So get ready. Let's get this shit started. This shit has started. I am Chip. I'm Cern. And you are listening to the Chip and Cern Show. Once again. Or for the very first time. Well, dogs get kicked in the balls. And Chip, I had an operation on mine. Oh. Get neutered. Got the old <laughs> fixing that. Got neutered, as Cerny said. Now, before we get started, oh, we're holding a glass balls? of beer. Oh. That's CERN's nice. holding my, well, it's also a 90, going to be 99 today. Yes. So yeah. my balls are yeah. dangling. Hang low, sweet cherry. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon. Dragon. <clears throat> um, holding a glass of beer that mm. Chip had so kindly brought over a growler of. It's a, it's a nice hazy IPA. I forgot the name of it. From Sorry. Adobe Creek. Adobe Creek, but I forgot the name of it. It's like uh, Terp. Terp. Damn it. Uh, I was like Terp Talk, but it's, that's. Terp Sauce. Terp Sauce. Terp Sauce. Terp Sauce IPA 6.6 ABV is a hazy IPA from Adobe Creek Brewing in Novato very, off Galley Drive. It's very refreshing. They're open till if you're If you're in town, check them out and say, Chip is, you heard on Chip and Turn Show. Which is a podcast nice cause, citrus. Because they'll say, "Who the fuck is that?" Hazy, <laughs> <laughs> hazy IPA. Um, Tell me about chipandsternshow dot com. We will. I will be back for sure. They had a lot of really good beers. Cool little tap room. When I go out there, I'll be over with you. We we have all these beer. I th- and whenever we come up and do the podcast at each other's place, we're not like, with the exception of today, it's not a. It's an in and out thing. It's not a yes. long term like. Oh, hang out for the day. Go get some beers. Like. Yeah. But we should probably do that yeah, at we some should, point. Yeah, we should schedule it because it is summertime. It is summer. We I got mean, after because, quite frankly, to be honest, after this, we're, we'll be we'll be doing a couple swim. Yes, synchronized, synchronized swim. Uh, lover's float, if you will. <laughs> Speaking of lover, mine and I decided as a mutual partnership that it was best that um, mm-hmm. two kids was enough. Two was enough. Okay. Now I was champing at the bit to get the old snip snip done. Okay. And I think out of all the people that I know, I'm the first person. I believe there was one other one. Uh, Okay. Yeah, I think we know who we're talking about. Okay. But also, I don't know, is this something that you talk about with your, I mean, with your friends, I kind of, we were talking about it. Yes. But I don't know. Now, for me, it was definitely on the table before. Yes. Yes. But before, but there was other circumstances yes. that prevailed. I yes, guess. yes. My wife had to have a surgery. Yeah, and then yeah, certainly dodged a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, I see there's this whole thing about oh, you know, some like uber masculinity <clears throat> thing about oh, I can't get fixed because I have to have potent loads and all this shit. I don't. I never have fucking subscribed to this nonsense. No, that's no. Ma- overly masculine nonsense. I mean, you can. In the words of uh, Michael Scott, snip, snap, snip, snap. snap. <laughs> <laughs> so I would know how the physical toll three vasectomies take. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot he would get it with their, one of his girlfriends and yeah, then he yeah, get it reversed Jan, or something. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> or you say, got it, and then you got it reversed. And then I got it, got it reversed. snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap. <laughs> Okay, sorry. No, no, it's it's fucking hilarious. So I don't know what the process was for this. I mean, I knew I should wait till my son was born, uh, give it a yeah. give it a couple beats before I go in, in and case, like yeah. yeah, just in case you know you don't want to be jinxing nothing. Yeah. But um, so I I went to the doctor. He's probably like close to a month and a half or two months. And I told my doctor, and I'm like, I don't know how far they're booked out. Your like son, your son was. A- Month and a half yeah, he was. Now. Yeah, so I went and I got referred. So I went up to this place, and uh, th- there was a whole appointment booking fiasco, yeah. which I mean, I I don't. I guess we could get into, but basically, the person that took my appointment 
was like, oh, we're neighbors. And I'm like, are you really supposed to be telling me that? Like, yeah. you know, this kind of like a little we, bit of like HIPAA phys- compliance situation. Are physically neighbors? or She's like, oh, I live on blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, cool. cool. All right, cool. Next time I see you at the park, you're going to know I'm uh, sterile. Yeah. Um, Is that an invitation? And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so I went to the doctor and he, you know, I w- drove up to Petaluma, okay. one of the offices up there, and I okay. went in and I'm kind of... You know, for those locally or not locally, he's north of uh, my house. About how, about how many minutes? Drive? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen north of my house, or Studio West, Studio if West. you will. Fifteen minutes out of Studio West. And uh, the doctor, they're like, "Well, do you want to see Doctor So and So?" Blah blah blah. I'm like, "I don't know. I don't know." Like whoever has the least amount of like accident, like whoops, actually nipped Shit. the nut there, you know. So I go there. Does, does his hands tremble? Yeah. No. Okay. Good. Yeah. Call him in. Yeah, uh, shaking the moil is uh, your doctor. Um, <laughs> he's botched forty-two circumcisions, but he's uh, he's uh, ten for ten. Or sorry, he's eight for ten on the vasectomies. Uh, sometimes he's actually just lopped your whole ball bag off. And uh, but don't worry, his yeah. last three has gone three off without a hitch. Without like, oh, a hitch. Okay, okay, cool. Besides the guy that died, everything's okay. <laughs> so I went up and like. Hit your fucking artery in your leg. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Your your or your I don't uh, know. um femoral? Oh, that's Cause right. Because it so runs along your femur. Your femur. Right. Okay. Um, and so I go in there, and he is probably late thirties, maybe. Okay. So he's trying to be cool with me. I think he's like, "So you're all done having kids?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And I think he he's like, "Oh, did your wife make you come here?" I'm like, oh, I think they, I think not, they ask like they have to make sure it's like your decision. Yeah, I'm like, no, and I started like, I was like, I'm actually very. I was wanting to get a vasectomy. I was in high school, <laughs> and I was <laughs> like, and he's like, kind of looked at me weird. I was, oh, I guess he doesn't get the joking yeah, part. No. Anyway, so he's like, kind of telling me about it. Uh, asked me if I had any questions or anything, and I'm like, oh, like how how soon? He's like. And I went out on Wednesday. And I was like, "How soon?" He's like, "We could do it on Friday." And I'm like, "I'm like, well, hold on. I hadn't, you know, I wasn't quite ready, and I had a race coming up." And he's like, "Well, you know, it's a pretty non-invasive procedure. You, you, you know, just don't run a marathon the next day." Like, well, that's, and I was that, like, that "Well, is, that's that is, actually kind of a possibility." Yeah. And he's like, "Oh, really? Okay." So we scheduled it, and I had a rec- I actually m- bumped it up earlier because I had some vacation that was already uh. happening, and I'm like, "I'll just get it done." That's right. You, you were supposed to get it after the party. A- yeah, after the party. Because you're pretty much, from what he said, you're out of commission for that day. Then the next day, he's like, you could probably go into the office the next day. And I'd, I'm like, milk it anyway. I'm like, wow. I'm like, okay, I don't know. I'm going to be working from home. But I mean, and Cerny, you know as a dad, how? when was the last time you just got a, literally instructed by a doctor to sit around and not move and be served on? Never. So I, exactly. So I'm like, oh, so what I hear you saying is I need to be bedridden for three days, doc? Yes, yes. yes. So. Yes. Yeah. So I was totally going to milk it. I'm like, no, I'm working from home. I was off on the day of the operation, surgery, minor. The next day I was working from home. Okay. So I literally just sat in bed on my laptop and I sort of, you know, was still fine. I probably could have walked around, but it was kind of. You know, it was just, it didn't feel comfortable. So yeah. being at home was the best. Okay. So rewind to the, the day of the surgery. Okay. And my wife's like, <laughs> <clears throat> uh, so all the doc says, once it happens, you're not immediately sterile. Okay. Now, what day of the week are you, is your surgery? Wednesday. Okay. So I'm thinking it would be perfect by the time the weekend hits, I can kind of get around a little bit. I won't be like okay. laid up. He said, well, once you get it done, you're not sterile. So what birth control are you using? And I was like, well. We have two kids. So yeah. I'm sterile. So, uh, the you pull know. Pull-out method. Yeah. Back. The old pull-out method, which I've been using for the last 16-something <laughs> years. <laughs> He's like, okay, well. He goes, nothing's worse than getting pregnant when you just had a vasectomy. So basically, okay. there's still potent seed in the pipes. How many loads are we talking? He said 30 loads. And I said, by week's end. I yeah. <laughs> I said, well, doc, as you know, I'm a married man, so I'll see you in a year and a half. Because um, you have to go send a sample in. 
<laughs> no, I, I, that's an embellishment. Yeah, I know. Two years. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you have. To, he gave me a uh, a load cup. No, doctor. Never have to get no. <laughs> And I said, I said, oh, do you need a before sample? And he's like, no. <laughs> Because I, I thought I compared. I do compare, Doc. I mean, you, you. right? I'm like, I didn't. I always thought, oh, I, I rode bikes a lot, wore like tight underwear, oh, you know, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, and he he kind of was like, no, we don't need a before sample. I'm like, oh, he, you know, here I am, just fucking willy nilly passing my jizz yeah. out everywhere. Yeah. But there is the sample cup. So, um, a, a couple days before the surgery, I no, <laughs> I drew up on my mirror in the bathroom or in a joint mirror thirty. Oh, 30 hash marks. There you go. Now, the wife is all in on this measurement and trying to make a, a game, the gamification of it. So oh. I, I, I played a good play on this. I like it. I like it. So Wednesday was a surgery. I knew I couldn't work out for a week. So I met my buddy at like 6 in the morning. We ran like 10 miles oh, in the morning. I'm like, I'm going to get my big workout in, and then I'll take a week off. Okay. And I, I don't think I had breakfast after or something. And he's like, you could drive yourself. It's not a problem. And my wife and uh, mother-in-law or like the nanny was there. And like, we could just drive you in the morning. I'm like, no, I was really trying to play it cool. And my wife was like, are you nervous? Because you're not saying anything, but you're not acting nervous. And well, yeah, I was, yeah, I'm a little nervous. So I'm just, you know. I was like, I mean, I'm nervous because it's my. It's always a little bit of nervous. Right. It's my no matter balls. what you say. It's not like you're terrified. Like you think, you know. Yeah. You're gonna lose your fucking dick or anything or your balls, but you, there's always some sort of nerves that go with it because it's unknown. Exactly, but I wasn't sweating bullets. I slept totally fine the day before. Did the run, drove up there. I'm sitting in the waiting room and I'm kind of like, okay, I'm a little bit nervous. So you're awake during it. Okay. And the nurse takes me back, and she's like, okay, like take your bottom, like be uh, shirt cocking. Okay. Which is where your cock is hanging down below shirt your shirt, cock. and that's all. <clears throat> and I like it. I put the little apron thing on. Okay. And the doctor comes in. He's like, "Okay, like you ready?" I'm like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Do you mind if I like watch YouTube videos?" Or it's Something. kind of the same thing at the dentist. You know, when you're not looking at the drill and oh, all yeah. that shit, it kind of goes by. I mean, Quicker. for me, I can yeah. So I'm like, I'll listen to music and I'll watch a video. He goes, "Yeah, you can watch anything you want except porn." And I was like. I'm like, oh, wait, are you are you fucking being funny with me? Because yeah. you don't want Porn? me getting a rod what? during this thing, or oh, the other thing <clears throat> in the it's pre. A weird, it's a weird thing. Yeah, like, who'd watch? Porn I think he was. It? I think he was trying to make a joke. Oh, okay, okay. So, okay that's kind of weird. Like, uh, I know you're operating my my balls, doc. But yeah, I'm, I'm oh, little, it's I'm just gonna, pictures. It's I'm not I'm videos. Gonna, I'm gonna flip on the uh, the old hub. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the old P hub. <laughs> now before the thing. He goes, well, you want me to show you like where I'm going to cut and stuff? It's free week. It's free. Yeah. It's, free uh, it's free premium week, <laughs> yeah. Doc. And uh, so I was like, yeah, sure. I guess I'm a little bit interested. And so I, he's like, okay. And it was fucking 100 degrees that day. So, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, some, some. So my fucking some ball bag. Some fumunda cheese. My, yeah, it was. Dank. It was a little swampy. Yeah. But my fucking ball bag was hanging down further oh. than my dick. <laughs> But the no. doc, the doctor was Asian, so I knew I at least had it up on him. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. But he he kind of he looked at it, and I I fancy myself that my my genitals are, are decently groomed. Okay. I've I'm got, not an yeah. overgrown force. Okay. Uh, yeah. But I've also been married for you know fucking ten years, and you have garden. It's not every <laughs> yeah. It's there's I haven't gone in uh what's the Chappelle line that he's like damn you. Uh, I can't remember. I God damn it. <laughs> you know what the scene that I'm talking about when he goes, oh, you gone and scorched the earth. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, that, yes. I trim up. Yes. But I'm not I'm not in there three times a week with the fucking straight razor on my oh, balls yeah. making sure their their baby smooth. bottom smooth. So he goes in and he, he uh, you know, my balls there, I'm like showing this discerning. Yes. My penis is not out. He's pulled it out. So he, he like, you know, you pull your penis up. And basically, like, uh, where your ball bag connects, like, to the bottom of your shaft, he's like, I'm just going to cut right here. For ladies who don't know, there's a ball bag that connects your shaft. Oh, yeah. And he goes, all this, though, you need to shave. And I was like, I was like, fucking shots fired, Doc. Like, <laughs> fucking relax here. I was going to was gonna do some prep for you. But, I mean, you got to put me on fucking blast you're, you're, like you're that? You're critiquing? Yeah. Let's see what you got. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is how the lady prefers it, I'll have you know. Um, <laughs> Shots fired. So the night before, fucking, like, I had a new girlfriend. I'm in the shower. It's probably spent 45 minutes, <laughs> like, sh- dollar shave club, fresh razor, <laughs> fucking had the badger brush on my balls, like, lathering it up, like, looking under a microscope. Is there one single hair there? It didn't even fucking... When it came time to, he didn't even compliment the shave job. Oh, you should. Have I was like, I was like, vast improvement job. I love it. Yeah, I love it. So anyway, so I go like a baby's bottom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, put like a uh, uh, pre-shave oil on it, and then some cooling lotion after <laughs> talcum. So, d- morning of the surgery, going there. I'm shirt cocking. I have my little okay. cl- my little paper apron on. <laughs> shirt cocking. So I'm sitting there in the chair like a regular doctor's chair. And you, you lean Bear back. Acid? Oh, yeah. Oh, and I'm yeah. fucking just a little, a little sweating, like just nerves. And, you know, yeah. you're sitting there. It's kind of hot. Well, that's better than cold. Yeah, you that's true. You ain't showing. Right yeah, now. I'm like, like oh, I'm, like, I'm glad wow. the nurse left. She did say, do you need me to be in the room? And he's like, no. I'm like, I was like I mean, I'm sorry. This is a two-man operation. Right, I know. <laughs> what the, what's going on here? No, uh, the five-inch Grinch is a bit to handle, <laughs> but uh, it's not a not a forehand type of job here, lady. <laughs> And when you look like the hedgehog, I know. <laughs> when you lay down, you look up. Someone yes. had like taped from like the 1994 National Ge- Geographic, like the Grand Canyon picture oh, up on no. the roof and no. something else. Oh no! And I was like, he, I was like, could I watch a video? I said, or I could look at these pictures. And he like, he looked up. He's like, I never noticed those. I'm like, oh, yeah, because you're not on the fucking operating yeah, you're, table. You're, I hope you don't notice those. I hope you keep a steady hand, Doc. So I'm there. He pulls my shirt up. And he basically puts a towel on the top, like on my uh, fumpa, okay, or my my man a uh, bush. You're, okay, I was gonna say you're Dunlap, but that's oh yeah, it's not Dunlap and Cerny. Give me some credit. I know, but I was trying to find a name. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then the the towel. So basically, the only thing exposed is my penis and my balls. It's kind of weird. It like, was what? a weird thing. And then he flips my fucking dick back, so it's like laying, it's like pointing da- back, staring at you. Yeah, I'm like, oh, what's going on here? And I had my AirPods in, and I'm like trying to pick music up, but he's also talking to me, so I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Oh no! <clears throat> then he pulls like a needle out. Oh no! That's that's when the sweat starts coming. Yeah, and this is when I, and just before I text my wife, I'm like, okay, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> You know, like when you would get the Novocaine shot, yeah, it's that type and like the big fucking gray. Yes. Why can't they put like fucking Sesame Street on there or something like just? D- it's the big metal one. Yeah. With, like it's like the you, oh. you 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 see like in Stranger Things like with the yes with the torture yeah you know like the the Russian <clears throat> torture thing. You and know. so I will. I'm gonna put a trigger warning on this. Any yeah. guys listening? I'm triggered. Should I leave the room? I mean, if you want. Okay. So he grabbed my balls and he had this big needle. Okay. And you know the balls had the vas deferens, which is what they cut for the vasectomy. Mm-hmm. The the two tubes. ropes tubes that connect your testicles to your load shooter. Yes. Your urethra, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So you feel them feeling in your balls for the tubes. Okay. And he finds it and he kind of holds it like this, and then he fucking sticks that needle in. <laughs> And I just kind of like no, that, fucking that white knuckled the table a little bit. Was, and it, was it bad or? It wasn't. It wasn't great, and I definitely wouldn't sign up to do it again. It okay. fucking hurt. I mean, yeah. I definitely was like, <sighs> okay. like kind of in that. my head. Yes. One side, then found the other one. Did it. He's like, I'm gonna give you a little bit to numb up. And I'm thinking, I'm like, this is a fucking horrible idea. <laughs> I'm like, I'll just wear rubber. I swear, doc. Um. <laughs> and some time went by and I'm listening. I was watching like one music video on YouTube and he's like, okay, it should be numb. And he's like, can you feel that? And I'm like, no, he goes, I'm, I'm poking your testicles with a knife. And I was like, really? Uh, so <laughs> and I'm no. looking up. So I don't know. I'm like, I'm just going to let whatever happens, happens down there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. So he was like, I'm going to cut you now. He's like, let me know if you if you feel anything. Oh, I will, Doc. Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm like, no, I was just gonna fucking power through it. What did you think I was gonna do? This isn't exactly a spot where I could tough it out. Yeah. <laughs> Someone flicks it. So was, he he kind of like he had the little scalpel and he was just like like poking like you would poke someone in the arm, but okay. he was like poking my ball bag and I couldn't feel anything. Perfect. So he went for it and he's like, you good? I'm like, yeah. He goes, okay, I cut it. 
and then you kind of can't he's got clamps and yeah, i'm hearing can, metal things clanking around i'm like you can just, feel like some like pressure or things right or, yeah but literally no pain and i'm just watching my video and the you know service is bad so it's buffering i'm like okay i'm gonna switch to just spotify music <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to something, listen something, to things yeah. and <clears throat> he's like okay you're gonna smell some burning i'm going to oh, man, solder like, the ends okay yeah thanks yeah so god he cut a little hole i mean legit half an inch quarter inch to a half an inch okay. just a little slit he pulled out both of the vas deferens both the tubes okay he snipped them and he fucking with tweezers goes oh here's the first one and shows it to no. me i'm like okay this isn't a mechanic I i'm not getting my fucking car worked on i don't like, need to see the parts <laughs> right like uh i know what my air filter looks like but i didn't he's like okay here's the first one i'm like thanks so he cut he literally cut probably a, a quarter inch out of each side uh, and then he put these metal clamps on it yeah and i guess he soldered them okay and then he stitched me up and he's like okay you're all done and it literally was like two songs oh okay. maybe like 10 minutes. Six minutes yeah yeah we'll say 10 yeah i mean maybe 10 and he's like all right have a good day like he's like, do you want to save the things? Or and I'm like, no. Like, save them. I'm like, save them. this isn't my appendix or my foreskin. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and so I fucking, he just walked out. And I was like, I was sweating because I got a big wave of adrenaline when he fucking shot my nuts with oh, the yeah, thing. Yeah. So I'm sitting there like having a drilling thing and he left me. I felt like some, I've been, I don't know. Other than the dentist. Yeah, it was like. He just left, but he sort of like violated my testicles and he didn't say anything. Like, it was just a weird, and I was just sitting there in the room like, what do I do now? So I kind of got up and I put my shorts back on and my hat and I was like, I guess I'll just drive home. It didn't hurt right then. I oh. mean, I was kind of like, you know, waddling. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, okay, I'm like, I'm actually feeling a little bit dizzy. So I text my wife. I'm like, I'm feeling a little bit dizzy. I'm just going to like sit down for a little bit. Yeah. Because all the adrenaline that I had. Yes. With so, no food. With right. no food yeah. after a fucking, I burnt 1,500 calories or something. And I sit in the chair and I have my hat and I have my phone and my wallet and my keys. Okay. And I'm like, I haven't really passed out much in my life. Okay. I don't think any time, but I was like, I think I'm just going to like take a wink for a second. You know how when you're drunk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I did. I kind of like laid back and I'm like, I'm just going to sleep for a little bit because I, I was like not going to drive home. I felt yeah. way too fucked up. And I slept, and I remember having fucking crazy visions, like <laughs> I like hallucinations, like I was on fucking mushrooms. Spiritual or visions, yeah. yeah. Or like you're on peyote, peyote, Pey or yeah, fucking with the eagles. And I woke up, and my phone and my wallet and my hat were all like on the floor, like I had dropped them. So I like legit fucking oh passed out. Yeah, I passed oh, wow. out. And I woke up, and I was like, I felt mu I felt 100 percent better, and I was like still like in sweating. But I was like, okay, I could drive home. And I just got in my car and I like, I drove home. Wow, hero. <laughs> like, hero. I would have somebody text texting me. I didn't. I, you know, and I got home and my wife bought me some frozen veggies and I literally sat my fucking ball bag on them. Oh, there you go. For the whole day and she brought me a sandwich and I took like a two hour nap. Oh. And you know, it was. Yeah. It felt like once everything I didn't do ibuprofen or anything. I did do some took some CBDs though. Okay. Before I went, there you go. Which I think helped. I don't know. Could be a placebo. But the the day after and the next day, just felt like you just took like a punch to the nuts, ah, like that achy, achy ball pain. Yes. And that was what it was in high school. You know, we oh, took it to the I cap, know. So. I know. I it's know, I know overly the hilarious. Moment. I don't even know how that happened so much, but it was fun. And so I have, and he said, okay, you have to wait a week before you, he says ejaculate. I say bust a nut. Bust a nut, okay. Now, I had my 30 ta tash, ha uh, tash, um, hash, marks. hash marks on the on the mirror. And the first couple of days, I'm like, there's no way I'm even... Oh, you know, touch. I couldn't take a shower for like two days because there's an incision there and all this yeah. stuff. <clears throat> Day four or five rolled around and I'm like, I was kind of thinking like, I'm feeling better. The wind caught you, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm thinking like, well, if they cut this, there could be like some blood, some blood in there. Yeah. 
So I won't be freaked out. Yeah, I was like, okay. So I, and I was like, am I gonna fathom like these weird like fan th- phantom? You know, when you lose a limb, like you still feel like oh. tingling in your arm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I fired the first first look. round off in the in the shower, and there was it was not. You know, there it was a little bloody. Okay. It would have been a bad thing, like if the missus would have not known, and she would have probably would have thought some ball cancer or something. Oh, okay. Um. So then I'm <laughs> take one out of the ha- the tally mark. So I think I was just self service for a day or two. Okay. But now this is like basically the faster I work my way through this thirty, the faster we're in the in the home in the, in free. The clear. Yeah, in the clear. So it's like I'm putting numbers up that I haven't put up for a while. Oh. Oh, two a days, oh, three a days. This is high school. This I know this school is high school numbers. numbers. I am. I feel like a young man again. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's up there on the mirror for everyone to see. So my wife. You should post to Instagram. Oh, maybe I will with the episode. <laughs> so my wife is getting this really intimate view into the Jack schedule. Oh. Okay. So she would go and she's like, "Wait, did you do it twice yesterday?" And I'm like. So much judgment in your voice. <laughs> and I did. I did do it twice yesterday. You are correct. She's like, I knew it. You were in a much better mood after you got out of the shower. And then uh, I'm going to do this next I'm doing this for us. This is for us. <laughs> <laughs> next week at work or something, yeah. like at lunch, I'm just like, could you take two off the ha- off the ta- off the hally, uh, ta- hash marks at-, <laughs> at work? I'm like, oh, uh, no, never mind. Never mind. Then. <laughs> Uh, I'm pre-playing right now. Yeah, but my wife is like into working on the hash marks, and she's like, "Can I go erase one after this?" I'm like, oh, "By all means, sweetheart, go all for means, it." By all means. So uh, we set a goal to get the thirty. Okay. And how many days? And I'm since, like, I'm how many, like, how many days since the operation is your is your goal? I mean, I was going fast and furious. I think in the first week. I think my first load was Sunday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So five days after the operation. Okay, so, so we'll say Sunday. Okay. So Sunday the, to Sunday, there. I think I got 10 out. Woo! Third of the way there. Which I, again, I was actively trying and my wife was actively trying to like work this number down. I couldn't. That's not a sustainable pace for me. No, I, I just couldn't do it. I mean, you know, we're not we're not sixteen. We're anymore. not spring chickens anymore. We're uh, five days isn't isn't. <sighs> yeah, and so since then, it, I'm like, okay, if we're trying to hit the goal, like one point three nuts a day. <laughs> <laughs> one point three. Yeah, like every third day, we're gonna have to do a double and all this stuff. Um, so we still have. At time of recording, I think that it's averaged out to about to be like 0.8 to to one a day, Ooh, okay. maybe. So it's okay. still a good clip, but yeah. there's days that nothing happens, yeah. and then there's two a days or something. So we kind of do the it makeup. washes out. Yeah. So he told me three months. I was like, I, I get you in two, Doc. Yeah. I mean, I'll shave that. Yeah, off, I'll worry. I'll shave that. Challenge accepted. <clears throat> so then I have to submit a sample. Okay. And then it gets after tested 30? after 30. But okay. then I read online it's 20. I think he's saying 30 just be to safe. be safe. Okay. But Bye. so I'm going to do the 30 and then it's supposed to come back. If it comes back with uh, and zero, then what if it comes back with <sighs> seed? Fuck. I, I honestly don't know. The doctor did say if you try to to make comes these too fast, <clears throat> your tubes are going to try to re- sink back up with each other. That's why he cuts them and then solders the end. I didn't... Okay. So I was like, well, why don't you just cut more off of each yeah. thing? Make you know, the distance a little greater. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, apparently if you do it, and he said he had one guy that did his 30 in a month. And I was like, I was like, damn, that, I mean, that's... That's one day. That's pretty good. He goes, he literally went home and had sex that night. He goes, I would not recommend. I'm like, how could you even, unless unless you're on Vicodin or like fucking Valium or something. Or peyote. Yeah. And you couldn't feel your balls. There's no way I could have done it. I was trying to go the all natural, you know, I, I don't need to 
get yeah. a fucking pain pill addiction to yeah. forget my balls snipped on. <laughs> anyway, that's the that's what happened. That is quite a story. So, and I feel like, you know, it's like, oh, when you get the new car, you notice everyone with, that has the same car as you. Yeah. I came back to work and everyone's like, when are you going to have more kids? And no one knew at work. Uh, and I was like, oh, no, we're done. And you, they're like, oh, okay, okay. And I'm like, I'm like, no, no we're done. Never asked that yeah. question in all of us. Yeah, I'm like, you want to see my ball bag has a scar in it. Um, it's not true. It actually is very, the stitches fell out. It looks. Oh. Yeah. Oh, also, my balls for like four days were bruised. Oof. It didn't look very good. Mm. And they're like, the stitches there. I mean, they were like, ugh. And of course, the dogs are fucking jumping on me. The kids. Oh, I'm know, like, Jesus Christ. All the stuff you don't even really realize. And right. Then, and then it like, happens all the time, but I had... I never I, never thought, and then I yeah. was like, no! I pretty much just had a pillow like covering my dick the whole week. <laughs> wore a jock strap. <laughs> they did say to wear a jock strap. And I'm like, I wouldn't wear a jock strap since I was like eight years old when I played baseball. Nah, yeah. I'm not going out and buying one. It was always a chore. Yeah. I don't even know. And the jock straps are so funny. Yeah, to know. wear it's like an elastic, a two inch, a three inch elastic band. But you can wear the sliding. And then the like, like the fucking straps that go on your bunsies. Oh yeah. And like hook, and then your fucking ball bag is just like tied up. Yeah. That's. that's, that's... Anyway. Ooh. Well, if you have any questions, comments, would... stories to yeah, let's hear your vasectomy stories. Yeah. Uh, you can email us at chipperscernshow at gmail dot com, or you can reach out to us on social media. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can either share it publicly or mm-hmm. slide it into our DMs. But just search Chip and Cern Show yep. and uh, choose your avenue of discussion. Mm, very good, Cerny. And until next time, I'm Chip. I'm Cern. Cheers. <laughs>